Welcome to Bruce Lee Real Fight Channel. Bruce Lee got too fat for a real fight. Bruce Lee weighed around 130 pounds in 1958 when he left Hong Kong to pursue his studies in the US. Something happened to him when he was 24 years old that sparked his realization that he needed to undergo fitness training. It was 1964 when a Kung Fu man from San Francisco Chinatown, Wong Jack Man, challenged Bruce Lee to an all-out fight, accusing him of teaching martial arts and revealing Chinese Kung Fu secrets to foreigners. According to Bruce Lee's wife, Linda Lee, the fight lasted about three minutes, with Wong Jack Man running around after realizing he couldn't beat Bruce Lee up. Bruce Lee ended up chasing Wong around and putting him on the ground. Despite winning this fight, Bruce Lee wasn't really happy. He closed himself in the room and kept thinking about the fight. This battle made him realize the need for a stronger body. This is where Bruce Lee started his fitness training. The first fitness program Bruce Lee had was designed by one of his close friends, James Yim Lee. Here's a copy of Bruce Lee's early training routine in Hong Kong on May 27, 1965. As you can see from this gym card, it appears to show that Bruce Lee's training at the time was primarily focused on his arms, notably his biceps. Bruce Lee visited Hak Kiong Gymnasium in Hong Kong three times a week in 1965. These exercises only targeted his arm muscle groups, and of course, it was not Bruce Lee's complete regimen. From 1964 to 1969, Bruce Lee's weight increased to 165 pounds, the additional 35 pounds of muscle definitely bulked him up for someone standing at 5 feet 7 tall. These photos were taken while Bruce Lee's weighed 165 pounds. He looks much bigger and stronger compared to photos taken before 1964. Although his weight increased by 35 pounds and he gained much bigger muscles, Bruce Lee wasn't happy with that because he realized the added mass from bodybuilding was too cumbersome for his quick strike fighting techniques. In other words, he couldn't kick as fast as he could before. Therefore, he changed his workout in 1969 for pure strength and speed instead of size. He created a power without bulk workout routine for himself. Bruce Lee devised the bodybuilding program that he used from 1965 to 1969. He focused more on muscle growth, emphasizing the legs, triceps, biceps, and especially forearms. All of these being the muscle groups used most frequently in a fight. This is because he needs to kick, reps, punch, etc. etc. when it comes to a real fight. In the summer of 1970, Bruce Lee shed 30 pounds and weighed about 135 pounds. That's where we see him in the 1971 film, The Big Boss. Since then, he maintained his physique until 1973. So, what do you think after hearing the story of Bruce Lee bulking up and then shedding down just for fighting? From this story, we can tell that everything Bruce Lee did was simply for a reason, to prepare for a real fight. What are your thoughts? Please leave your comments below. Thank you for watching Bruce Lee Real Fight YouTube channel and we will see you in the next video.